If conspiracy theorists thought that this year's Super Bowl halftime series had an occult theme, the Olympic Games opening ceremony on July 27th will knock the Illusionati seekers out of the park. It is unlikely that the program itself will be all that interesting or entertaining, but rather events surrounding the Olympics will brand this year's competition as a gold medal chess game regarding global consciousness. The planetary picture for Olympics opening day is fraught with challenges, conflicts, deception, loss, betrayal, and behind the scenes machinations. The overwhelming number of Gemini deception planets shadowed by a moon, Juno, and Scorpio, a conspiracy marriage, all directed by the supreme magician Neptune, presage a movie with ratings that outrank all the Harry Potter ticket sales combined. With a flimsily constructed stadium and pyramid towers and other occult symbols, i.e. the 2012 logo when turned on its side supposedly reads Zion, could this location simply be a stage set for a larger global event? As pointed out in recent episodes, charts of events or countries do not possess a conscience, so there is no way for the negative effects to be mitigated by spiritual awareness. Yet, whatever the outcome, these outer events will ultimately serve a purpose in our evolutionary growth. Yet, if the opening ceremony is to go awry, what is the real truth behind whatever event might take place? What is the false flag, and what is the larger purpose or end game? One potential, albeit highly unlikely, long shot is that during the Olympic Games we begin to understand the game of life. We've all chosen our respective roles, most of us have forgotten our original purpose, and like the competition between nations, mistake our differences as separation rather than beautiful colors in the same prism stream of life. South Node in Gemini could allow us to release regressive stories of pain and suffering, those we were taught in our early stages of spiritual development, i.e. through organized religion. North Node in Sag speaks to understanding the reality of paradox on this dimensional plane, and the truth that unity obliterates any lie of separativeness. Since we are in a time of rapid manifestation, perhaps we could really acknowledge and integrate the one duality that is still dividing us all, the choice between fear or love, and embrace that which will unite us into a beautiful parade of nations. One World in Concert is our attempt to connect the varied threads of global community and thought. Please continue to subscribe, share, rate, or comment on this video. Thanks for watching.